Hey guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and in today's video, we have something big to share with you. That's right, we finally did something we've been wanting to do for years, and that is to purchase a motorhome. Now you guys, this motorhome is pretty old, but I have big plans to fix it up and give it a huge makeover because I don't want this just to be an RV for my family. I really want this to be more of a tiny home on wheels. So I have a lot of work ahead of me. Now in today's video, I am gonna go ahead and share with you why we decided to start on this journey. I'll share with you where we are planning to go this year. I'm going to show you all around the motorhome and I'm going to point out the things that I'm hoping to change. And I am gonna show you a couple of the items I've been purchasing. These are definitely some space saving items that I'm hoping can help keep our motorhome nice and organized. Now, honestly, there are quite a lot of reasons why we decided to do this right now. The first being that this is something that we've been wanting to do for years. In fact, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I've had my heart set on this for a long time. It's also a great time for us to do this right now because the kids are back to homeschooling. That means we can just bring all of their school stuff with us and they can do it on the road. Another great reason is because I really think that this is one of the safest ways that you can travel right now. Of course, having this motorhome means that we can travel while being pretty self-contained. We have our own kitchen, we have a bathroom on board, so we can pretty much travel without having to make a bunch of stops and going into a bunch of different places. Of course, we are also really hoping to get out there and explore nature. We are hoping to visit some national parks, some awesome beaches. And of course, I also think this is a great way for us to travel back to Utah and to California to visit our family members that we haven't seen in a long time. Now, as far as the RV itself, this is a 2005 Winnebago Itasca Spirit 24V, which basically means that this is about 16 years old and it's only about 24 feet long. This RV sleeps six people. It has a really nice kitchen. It has a pretty nice bathroom and the RV itself is built onto a Ford E350 van. So this is really just like driving an oversized van. It's not a huge monstrosity of a vehicle. Now I know that that might seem a little bit small for a family of six, but that's actually what I really wanted. I wanted to go as small as possible because number one, we are not actually living in this full time. And number two, at the end of the day, this has everything that we absolutely need I really like that this is small enough that we can drive it easily in congested areas. It's small enough that I could drive it and not be intimidated. And of course, the smaller size means that we can fit this in smaller sized campsites, which means we can save some money that way. Now, like I said, this RV is from 2005, so it's definitely dated. This is something that we searched quite a long time for on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist. We were looking for something that was pretty inexpensive, but we were also looking for something that would be reliable. And this definitely fits the bill. Even though this RV is pretty old, it's actually in a really good condition. There is no water damage, all of the electrical works, all of the plumbing works, and so do all of the appliances. This motorhome is technically road ready. We could just go on a trip right now. But like I said, I am hoping to change out quite a few things just to make this feel more like home. So now moving on to my renovation wish list, and I'm calling this a wish list because I know I'm not gonna be able to do everything on this list, but the number one and number two things that I'd really like to do are first, paint all the cabinetry. I'd really like to change these to white or maybe a light blue. I'm really not a huge fan of this color of wood. I think it looks pretty dated and I think that by brightening these up it'll really make this space feel more like home. And then I'm also hoping to go ahead and paint all of the walls as well. Something nice and bright and light. I think that would really open up the space and make it feel a lot larger than it actually is. Another thing I would really like to do is go ahead and use some peel and stick tile on the back of the kitchen area to create sort of a backsplash. 
I'm not a huge fan of the wallpaper here, so I'm hoping that I can just cover that up. Next, I would really like to go ahead and take out all of the window coverings that are currently in here. These are really dated, some of them are broken, so I'd like to change those. And speaking of old and dated, so are all of the curtains. I'm hoping that I can switch these out for something a little bit cleaner and fresher. I would also really like to go ahead and recover the cushions in the little dinette area. I'd like to use a fabric that's a little bit less busy and I'd like to make the covers removable so I can take them off, wash them, and then put them back. And then last but not least, I think it would make a huge impact in here to go ahead and replace the flooring, but I know that that is going to be a huge project so I'm not quite sure when and if I will actually be able to do that. Now I would love to know your opinions in the comments down below. What kind of things would you do in this space to make it look more fresh and new. I would love your input. And then of course I plan to organize everything just like I would in my cabinets and my closets at home. Now like I said I've been purchasing a few things here and there on Amazon and from Ikea. I know that since this is a really small space I have to be super intentional about what we keep in here and how I keep it organized. On Amazon, I found this really cool fruit and veggie hammock. You just hang this underneath your cabinets and it can keep your fruits and veggies up and out of the way. To help with dishes, I also got this collapsible dish rack. This can actually fit inside my sink and it won't take up a ton of space in my cabinet. Now you guys know I love to cook and I am still hoping to prepare lots of fun lunches for my kids on the road. So I did make sure to pick up some nice nesting bowls from Amazon. This actually comes with a ton of different sizes. There's also a colander and a sifter. It also has all of the measuring things that I need. And of course I love that it's a rainbow. And speaking of food, I also picked up these nesting food storage containers. Again, I love the rainbow and I love that they fit inside each other. Anything that I want to meal prep or save for later, I can put in here. Now that brings me to a big question. What are we going to nickname our motorhome? I know this is kind of a weird thing to do, but it's definitely a tradition when it comes to RV ownership. Some people give their RVs funny names, some give them people names, some name them after the brand of their RV. So if you guys have any ideas on what we should call this RV, let me know in the comments down below. Now you guys, this is definitely not gonna be turning into a full-time RV type YouTube YouTube channel, but we are hoping to make some travel related videos that can help you guys out if you are looking to travel as well. And I hope that you will follow us along on our journey. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.